what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terror by react here back with another reaction man season two episode 11 of the sopranos is here today last episode we witnessed some greatness of course tony feeling relieved that he's not gonna go to jail because of this murder because he was spotted Uh, I don't even remember them seeing anybody, but apparently somebody saw them leaving the place or whatever. So some things are yet to be um, seen. What is going to be the end game for this season? We're down to the last three episodes of the season. So what is going to be the end game? What is going to be the cliffhanger? What are we going to see before this season end? I am looking forward to it. Now we're at a we're at a calm state right now, except for the situation with Richie and um, Richie and Janice making moves. OK, they're trying to convince Junior, but Junior is not buying it. Junior is like, listen, man, I know my nephew does stuff. You know what I'm saying? But in some ways, I think Junior has come to the acceptance, like because of what he did, they can't draw too much attention to him. So he's just letting tony do what he does he's not happy about it of course but he's also warning richie about janice because janice she's she's up to something i just don't know what it is yet like clearly what it is yet but in any case we're going to jump into the episode hopefully you guys are subscribed to the backup channel already terabyte reaction game make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell yes sir and of course man make sure that if you want to see the rest of these episodes early they're already out on early access so make sure if you want to do that you can sign up for membership it's only two dollars a month let's jump into the episode and i will see you guys next time at the end for the review We talking eight to ten. For God's sake, Alan, I complete them out of three to five. All right, talk to Mike Gendler. See what he says. What's all this? Look thirsty last time I saw you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I know I left you someplace. No? Hey, you don't keep him busy. Amela, the kids? Good. You know, school shit. You bet that game last night? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think I need this for? <clears throat> so what do I owe you, counselor? You'll pay me when I actually have to do something. Let's hope that fucking day never comes, right? It almost did, very recently. Here we go, the Neil Mink lecture series. Well, isn't it fair to say we were staring into the abyss? A very close call, that brush with a murder beat. I told you. I was home alone. You and Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> neither one of you would have been alone. <laughs> Champagne's nice. You want to give me a real gift? Insulate yourself from these shenanigans. I told you once already. I do. I am. What the fuck you want from me? Use one of the businesses we've got you in for something besides showing income on a tax return. Spend time at Garden State Rentery. You know what boiling fat smells like? You have an office at Barone Sanitation. Get your ass out of that strip club and go there. All right, I hear you. The feds are a business, Anthony. Millions of tax dollars invested in watching your ass. Sooner or later, just like you, they're going to want a return on that investment. Don't disappear. Meet me out front. Corrado? I thought that was you. Catherine. Romano. Catherine. Uh, uh, Mr. Soprano, you have to stay in the wheelchair until you leave the building. Hospital rules. So call a cop. A little procedure. You think that they worry about the sick people? Oh, it's all about the insurance. I you remember my Chucky? Little Chucky. He drove the bike for the butchers. <laughs> I gotta call Karen, Mark. 
He's a cop now, like his father. Oh, that's why he's looking at him like that. He was a real straight shooter. He had a lot of class. Hodgkins, no? It's been almost 15 years. That long? The week the shuttle exploded. The pension helps. The grandchildren. You look good, Corrado. You healthy? A little heart trouble, nothing much. You broke your ankle? Bunions. Bunions broke your ankle? You still the in hell? <laughs> Same house. What's that thing you have in you? I'm right on Ampia Parkway, near our beloved alma mater. Maybe we could have coffee, catch up. There's a, an IHOP by the dry cleaners. The doctor says uh, I'm not supposed to leave the house. Too much stress. He's on house arrest. He can't go nowhere. <laughs> the chair. The chair. <laughs> this is Mr. Soprano. Oh, how you doing? Honey, this Apio. What happened to Diane? A little self-indulgent when it came to the office supplies. Oh. Connie, Mr. Soprano's been out in the field, but he's going to be spending some time with us here at HQ. So let's get Ralphie in here and Danny, too, and let's move these boxes out, the books. What should I do with them? I don't know. Make room. I'll put them by the copy machine. Nice rack. Born again Christian. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Listen, uh, while I have you here, we may have a little problem. Richie April? Yeah, I know. I heard. He kept the truck at a deli and nothing. Oh, fucking guy. But that's not it. One of Zanoni's drivers, the illustrated man. Richie's got him running an operation, selling blow along the routes. Now, the Department of Sanitation, I can handle, Tony, but if the DEA gets involved, we're going to lose our 901. Son of a fucking bitch. I'm sorry. I don't like to break your balls. You know that piece of shit's going to be my brother-in-law? Nice, huh? The <laughs> Rico act. Can he blow? What? Blow. Keep it on you. I gotta go to the deli in Nutley. Tony. You don't sell that shit along those routes. You understand me? I'm working with Junior on this. I don't give a shit if you're working with Walmart. Knock it the fuck off. I'm trying to earn here. We're saving for a house. You got enough in your plate just picking up garbage. Not if you and that fucking association and that cocksucker Barone don't let me expand. Are, are you fucking still on or, or what? After five years, the cops are finally leaving garbage alone. A drug bust on one of those routes is a different story. You got the FBI, the DEA, all those fucking pricks are gonna be breathing down our necks again. Little Coke, what is the big deal? You're my uncle. You wanna deal drugs, it's your business. You do it on association garbage routes, it's my fucking business. It stops today. You got it? Don't give me your fucking Manson lamps. Just fucking stop. Another thing, don't tip a truck on a problem customer. You know, I fucking hate the way you make me fucking ride you. Now get the fuck out of here. Is that Al Pacino's brother or something? <laughs> he sure as hell looked like him. Oh my God. No. Bye. 
Ah, uh, this keeps happening to him, man. Pills, the analysis. You pay her a fortune. What is she doing for you? Will you leave me the fuck alone? If it was a man, you'd wring his neck. I got a fucking rash now this week or two. Leave me alone. Putting a wing on her house. Mr. Soprano, I have your results. Yeah. Just preliminary, but as far as I can tell, it's nothing... Nothing physical, right? Now, for Christ's sake, I just passed out. If it's nothing physical, then what the fuck is wrong with me? I would think you'd be relieved. No, I'll be relieved when somebody puts their finger on whatever the fuck it is that's wrong with me. I wish it was something physical so I could have it ripped the fuck out. I'm sorry. It's, it's just very frustrating. I know you're only trying to help. You know, losing some weight wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Roberta San Filippo didn't call back, did she? I gotta be honest, June. When I ran into her fountains of Wayne that time, it was very cold. What was she buying? Well, kid pissing. Must have bought a house. Great ass. Jeez. Talk too much, but what a piece she was. Game as they come. Listen, I'm gonna go. Gotta take my kid to Karak. His hand stuck. <laughs> Hello. Has Junior been In stuck here. here the whole time? In here, the kitchen. Where you been? I, I, I've been calling you all afternoon. My fucking head is stuck down the drain, and I can't reach <laughs> the fucking phone! Good thing I'm nice, because I could start tickling you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? Six hours! <laughs> fucking detergent and lubricate my wrist! Motherfucking son of a bitch. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were Bobby. Why didn't you just call a plumber? With what? My fucking toes? <laughs> right. Come on. Let go of Lim. 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 Lim, you're flexing. Let go of Lim. Lim, that's it. You're flexing. Lim, that's it. Simmer down. Simmer down. Easy. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, this fucking house. I'm dying here. Just take it easy, okay? You're coming to the engagement party at least, right? We'll get special permission. Make some coffee. I don't give a shit if you do, you don't. It's light. You got your nephew to thank for that. What do you mean? I ran into him the other day at the uh, garbage man's ball, whatever the fuck it is. The <laughs> garbage man's ball. You can't sell coke on the route anymore. What? That's what you said. I guess nobody should eat but him. You should have seen him in the golf outfit. He looked like Wallace Beery. <laughs> Where did he get the, the effrontery? He's the boss. Whether he has grand mouths or not. And this shit is okay with you? You know how much you love him, Junior. I don't want to say anything disparaging. Yeah, no matter how you dress up that fat, it's still fat, Janice. <laughs> that coke provides a nice income stream. Have any ideas the bills I got? Keep it away from the garbage roots. Lawyers, the doctors, the prescriptions, a double saw buck for a plastic pillow, just so I can sit comfortably. Why don't you just sit on that nice pile of cash you got? My finances are nobody's goddamn business. Yeah, and that garbage is my business. And I don't want you and another shitbird fucking it up. <laughs> Your business? Yeah. Why don't you get that to that bald dome of yours? Why does everything have to be so difficult? 
you know, back in the 50s, we, we worked together. Even rival families settled their differences amicably. Oh, yeah. I remember that picture of Albert on the stage, you're lying there all amicable on the barbershop floor. There were <laughs> exceptions. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I come back? All right. We're done here. Oh, bad night last night, huh? Now, let's see if we can't get you a more comfortable fit on this mask. That little cupcake, she never came back. The one with the mask. Tracy. Sent her a bottle of Shalimar. Oh. She never mentioned it. You should be happy, at least. The stent was a complete success. Let's not tempt fate by taxing the heart. How many made you shoot down last week? <laughs> Where's that fucking man to go? It's gone. There's a fucking tray in there. I was hungry. Son of a bitch. You know, it's not my fault you got your hand caught. What do you have to be so nasty? <laughs> Don't call her. Directory assistant. What listing? Belleville. I need a number for a Catherine Roman. <laughs> Go call her up. For what city? Cocksucker. Belleville. Please hold for an operator. To tell the truth. Well. Surprised <laughs> to hear from you. I was sorry we missed our visit. I had the feeling you weren't interested. Oh. No. I stopped by the other day, but I guess you were out. It was odd. I thought I heard you hollering. <laughs> Funny how life works. The different paths. Yeah. All leading to the cemetery. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Corrado? Was my Lou ever, you know, on the take? No, of course not. Why would you ask such a thing? Sometimes, you know, I'd find money. Hundreds of dollars, cash, in his pockets at night. Probably won it at the racetrack. You think so? Sure, why not? Somebody has to win. <laughs> hey, sure, what's up? What are you doing? Organizing a basketball tournament. Go for the people in the office. Yeah, sounds great. Should be fun. Yeah. Listen, I got a call from a friend of mine in Nutley. This guy's a cop. They got Richie's driver on video. He sold three ounces of coke at an arcade down there. It's all right. I talked to Richie. This was last night. Guess we'll have to torture a truck or something. Oh, you don't want to hear that. And I sure shit didn't say it. I think I'm trying to work on this office pool. Oh, sure. I'll leave you alone. Is everything all right? My brother's wife. Oh, Livia. How is she? I heard she wasn't well. She never was well. Let's face it. My woman's life is very sad. Sheesh. If she fell into a sewer pipe, she'd come up holding a gold watch in each hand. This was my father's. Actually, it was his uncle's. It's a little sweet, but there's nothing like homemade wine. The vinegar eggplant. From four years ago. Yeah, take some home. Oh, I can't handle the acidity. If you like, I could make us some lunch. 
Well, why go to the barber? There's a friendlies on Bloomfield Avenue. I can't. Don't you enjoy going out, Carrado? It's not he that can't. I don't enjoy it. He can't well, leave. How it, doesn't she no. know? No, it's certain legal difficulties. The truth is, I can't go out. I'm under house arrest. Oh, my God. Does it hurt? It beeps. Uh, send a signal if I leave the house. You can't go anywhere? The choices we make, huh? Occasionally, I can get special permission. Uh, banking, you know, the doctors, certain family obligations. For the most part, though. I understand if you don't want to stay. I enjoy you, Corrado. I always did. You stay, I'll bring food in. Sometimes you just need a good woman, man. Gotta you ain't gotta go no way. What's the fuck him? Which one of them knew? One of them knew what? Jerry Grail had asthma, and he was out there fighting fire? That's not too smart. He never was one to let common sense get in the way of whatever he wanted to do. The question is, Jesus. I mean, Grail's house was the last thing standing in the way of the new I'm sure Chris is glad to see him gone, too, but what about Howard? Howard Purcell's got six years in prison because Jerry mm -hmm. for the SCP. I got caught in the middle of a fight down to my side. Fucking thing. Those are the kind of women you want around, guys. You want a woman that don't give they, they don't you know what I'm saying I love how they portray good wives in this story, even though, you know, beyond the cheating. Oh, a long lost leader. Somebody must owe him money. <laughs> Christopher! <laughs> you can knock Cordoza law school all you want, but his lawyer says a gun charge will not stick. Yeah. Congratulations. And we were just talking about, uh, you know, down the docks. Driving off some of that Japanese technology. Hessian knows a guy. Oh, yeah? So what else is going on? Nothing. <gasps> I'm having good luck with Swiss Basics moisturizing for me. I'll try. <laughs> There's nothing is going on, bro. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Well, that was an episode full of nothing really. <laughs> I know some of you guys are gonna be like, um, you know, you know, some people would probably say skip that episode, but none of these episodes deserve to be skipped. There were still some important things towards the storyline in there. Um, you know, with the garbage and them, you know, Richie is now buying a house to go live with Janice. They're getting engaged. All of this stuff doesn't excite me at all. Cause the only thing is like, I'm just waiting for Janice to tell this dude, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't think this is going to work out in his favor as he thinks it's going to work out. I i don't think janice has changed i don't think she has changed i think she he, richie's in for a rude awakening you know what i'm saying and hopefully he doesn't end up killing her or something you know that's where my mind is going with her because of course they're gonna move you know olivia into that house as well so we'll see how that goes but as i said for the most part this episode is not really much to review here tony was basically bored the entire episode and, and, and he had a you know he fell out um he fell out one time um warned off richie again and you know he's wondering what's happening now he has a rash 
you know what I'm saying? He was trying to work out some stress, having some extracurricular activities, you know what I'm saying? But that's, sex don't solve stress, guys. <laughs> so don't think it does. If you're sexually frustrated, that's a whole different story, but sex doesn't solve stress. It doesn't, it, 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 even if it does, it's only for a small period of time. Like I'm talking about a minute, maybe two. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, that po when that post nut clarity comes in, you, you realize it didn't do anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, for the most part, when it comes on to this episode, nothing really happened other than we see that the feds are, you know, they're trying to get, um, keep Tony close. You know what I'm saying? And they come around, you know, acting all friendly, talking about the Nets game and all of this other stuff. I don't trust none of these dudes. So I'm wondering, this is the calm before the storm. This is the calm before the storm, okay? So I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do in the up these two final episodes of the season to see where we're going to get to and what they're, what they're going to do to lead us in to season three. So... Thank you guys so much. As I said, I don't have much to say here. So it's a pretty clear cut episode on what it was trying to tackle and what it was trying to do. So this is like a filler episode. Not much happened. Still getting the same foolishness from Richie. Not listening. Still doing things. So I'm wondering how Tony is going to handle this, knowing that he's still not listening. So we'll probably see that in episode 12 somehow, some way. But let's see how it goes. Anyways, I'm glad that Junior has found somebody that can help take care of him, nurse him, whatever. This lady seems like a pretty nice lazy. And as I've said before, you know, when it comes on to, to this series, I love how they portray women. Not overall, but for the most part, they portray women in these wife roles that has completely disappeared from normal society in some... In, um, let me not go to the extreme here and say completely for the most part most women don't know how to do any of that stuff anymore they don't care to do that stuff anymore i should say not that they don't know they just don't care to do it anymore okay so shout out to the show for 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 actually and this was early 2000 so you know what i mean nowadays you know you know what i'm saying 2021 you can't, it's hard to find a woman that's able to cook, that's not able to cook. I'm going to say that wants to cook, that wants to clean, that wants to take care of their man. You know what I'm, what the hell is that? <laughs> you know, that wants to cook, that wants to clean wants to take care of their guy you know what i mean like it, it's just one of those things man that you really have to when you see it portrayed you're like man that is really missing and you know it is also with men's role in relationship that has been missing too with modern men everybody all these men nowadays they just want to be fuck boys and it's just like bruh grow up you know what i'm saying so same goes for both sides it, it's like nobody really wants to really attach themselves anymore and you know in some ways there's good reasons but there's also i think that you know we need to bring that back but in any case thank you guys so much for tuning in as always i'm moving on to the final two episodes hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far thank you guys so much leave a like on the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys next time for some more sopranos let's go peace